I think that's the last of them. Damn it. I knew these souls. I would have thought them smarter than to meddle with Sather magic. They were desperate. And now they are dead. Good riddance. You blame yourself. And? It will not lessen your pain. Let's return to Gunhil. Unless you'd like to condescend more? I do not. The family crest of Kavasir the Wise. More like Kavasir the Inebriated, in truth. Just gorgeous. Learn anything? I wish things had gone differently. But these Saver are at rest now. It is done. Your friends are at peace. Good. And... I'm sorry. Had I been here, I would have prevented this. Do you think us lost babes, incapable of making our own choices? No, but... We made a mistake. But it was ours to make. Not yours to prevent. Even if you had been here. I... Yes, you're right. Goodbye, Gunhil. Goodbye. My goddess. Kratos, thank you for taking the time to help my people. I helped no one. They were already dead. Oh, but you did. You put their spirits at ease, and that has eased my spirit as well. I feel lifted. Enjoy it. It will not last. You're right. There are most certainly other corrupted sisters out in the realms. You always know how to end on a cheery note, brother. Well, lady, I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Mimir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Oh, you can say that again. Me, don't you? Uh, let's do it. It fits. <laughs> I knew he'd left something behind.
here. Oh, well, thank you so much. Elf has been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. It's her favorite toy. What? Good thing you are so cautious, brother. Quiet. He's right, Mimir. Show respect. The squeaky toy could have been the death of us all. And it nearly was. Do not laugh. That's hard not to, brother. Try it. Okay. Okay. Do you regret it, Mamir? Most likely. Uh, what are we talking about in particular? Giving up your body? Do I regret exchanging my life for my freedom? That's a question I ask myself every day, my lady. What about today? Today? Glad to be out in the world. How else could I spend such quality time with you? <laughs> okay, okay. Do you know why I left that night, Mimir? Only a hunch. He showed me who he really was. Hmm. Odin asked me to cast a protection spell on him. The one I used on my son. But the way it drove our boy mad, I refused. <gasps> he was furious. Throwing every object he could find, destroyed the room. There was only coldness after that. I tried to make it work, but... No one could have lived like that, Your Majesty. What's it say, brother?
Allow me. Reavers, of course. abandoned, vandalized. Hopefully the objects I'm looking for are still here. The door is shut. If memory serves, we'll need to light both of those torches to open it. Anything interesting, brother?
so much about that day I wish I could change. If only I'd seen the signs. Above here! Watch out! <laughs> Good thing you learned the runes, brother. of the Hewley family. One of the first families ripped apart by the war. My circlet's here. must remove these creatures first! Watch your right! Symbol of commitment. After the ceremony, he had a new one made every week, each more beautiful than the last. He stopped when I refused to teach him the old magic. You know, my people used to send me gifts too, so I wouldn't forget home. But after the birth of my son, they stopped too. Read that from here. Let's head back and I can take a better look. by breaking it but I feel nothing perhaps what you see cannot be found in a circlet you may be right No! 
isn't complete. It's missing a piece. This is a mystic fire. Its flames are short-lived. It's a denouncement from my people, placed during my wedding.
from the ceremony. A symbol of reconciliation. We drank from the lover's chalice until we could hardly stand. I confided in him that night about wanting an apology from Freyr. Odin reassured me that he'd be the only family I'd need. And I believed him. Anything illuminating. The word is complete, but I still can't read it from here. Let's head back down. Better now? No. The pain only grows. <sighs> Will I never be free of it? What more do I need to do? <laughs> the runic word appeared over there. See it? After all the battles I've fought, why does the other side of this door scare me most? The most difficult battles are fought within, but this battle, you will not fight alone. Are you ready? My final tie to Asgard. We drove that sword into the pillar together. The sword was forged for the ceremony. The symbol of our union. The stone refuses to let go. The deepest wounds form the strongest bonds. Bastard said it as part of our vows. I hate it when he's right. Asgard holds a part of me I can't sever. My bond to my son, to the Valkyries. That damn realm isn't just Odin's. It belongs to me, too.
The pain he caused is his. I refuse to keep holding on to it. This sword no longer holds our legacy. But it will serve as mine. A much more fitting use for it. Learn anything? I suppose it's on to the next battle now. Yes. You won an important one today. If I may. Since when have you ever asked for permission? It's just... I owe you my life, such as it is. And I... I caused you so much pain. Put you in a terrible situation. For that, Freya, I am truly sorry. I wanted to end that war, too. I know. But I swear to do better by you nonetheless. Anything you ask, consider it done. I'm forever in your debt. I appreciate that. Even if you can't help being an obnoxious know-it-all. I'm afraid I'll never know how to stop doing that.
So much for that boat. An arrogant man once told me you can't change the past, only how it shapes you. I think he might be right. It's been a while since I had a confidence. Would the god of few words lend me his ear now and again? As long as I am needed. Kratos, tell me of an adversary from your homeland. It will serve us well if I understand more of your battle tactics. Mm -hmm. There was Medusa, queen of the Gorgons. Her gaze turned men to stone. A mirror would turn her own powers against her. Or you may remove her head, but that is the hard way. Which did you choose? The hard way. Forget I asked. We missed this. Need something special? This crest, it's mine. Are we off to find that elven sanctum then, or something else? We certainly can. Though we do have something else that needs our attention. There's still that secret elven library in Alfheim. Lead the way. What is this path? Oh, just one of the many insane things we had to do to get to your name. You jumped? We were protected. Evidently. Ragnarok is coming. You're gonna need to stock up. Luckily, I'm offering new items. How can I help? Freya, I've always wondered, why was Freya so revered here so quickly upon his first arrival? Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first arrival. Very few know this, but Freya was one of the earliest visitors to Alfheim, back in the dawn of realm travel. Oh? Bit before my time. Who tell? We believed for a long time that all the giants had died in the flood, until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Her name was Gerd, and she came offering to teach us the secrets of traveling between realms using Bifrost light. Freyr became immediately infatuated with her. He always yearned to wander, and along came someone who could truly show him how. So, wander they did. Exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. Freyr was heartbroken, and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyr believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he... wandered. And he managed to wander from the World Tree directly into the Lake of Souls. The Elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious. I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point, or they just assumed him to be a great deity. 
But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured after the Great Division, remembered by Light and Dark Elf alike. So when at last he returned, he was uniquely situated to gain the trust of both sides and help to create a truce. The problem was, both sides trusted only him. So the peace could only last as long as he stayed around to keep it. And with the long war dragging on without an end in sight, I suppose making any kind of peace was an irresistible notion for him. Even if it meant having to rule. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean... Another half, Gufa. <laughs> oh, it looks as though the Light Elves sealed off this section of the Barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel, and we can unseal it. My, that is lucky. The Forbidden Sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Bela. And another storm to endure. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing half -gifa. But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. <laughs> 